Hi everyone. So with the world's attention now turned to health and the lack thereof, let's explore the most foundational aspect of health, the key to longevity and immunity, which is of course, water. Now there's so many ways in which water is the ultimate healer and they really got nothing to do with just drinking more water. So if you think I'm just gonna tell you to drink eight glasses a day while you're in quarantine and that's somehow gonna protect you, please keep watching because this goes really deep and we're gonna cover a lot of biology in this series. And as always, you can find the reference links to studies in the accompanying article. So without further ado, what makes some water so healing? Well, it's partially because of the hydrogen that's in it. Now this can take the form of molecular hydrogen enriched water or hydroxy gas that's created from water. Of course, I'm not a doctor and this isn't medical advice, but it all comes directly from doctors, scientists, and researchers. And obviously this pandemic is nothing to play around with. So if you're sick, Get medical help if you can, don't just drink more water. But all of this is cutting edge medical information meant to empower you to inhabit your body of water in more intelligent ways that will help you to thrive in the face of viral adversity. So we all know that water is H2O, right? But did you know that some water can be H3O2, H3O plus, OH negative, HOD or OD negative? Water is super versatile. It's like Optimus Prime, it's the ultimate transformer. And research has shown that the most hydrating and medicinal water has high levels of atomic hydrogen and molecular hydrogen and low levels of deuterium hydrogen. Now, Dr. Albert St. Georgi, a Nobel Prize winning water researcher, said that hydrogen is the fuel of life. And this is so true. So this is how it works. Basically, negative ion hydrogen is a non-caloric source of cellular energy, hydroelectric energy. It fuels your mitochondria to create all of the energy needed for any cell to do anything, to breathe, for hemoglobin to oxygenate your blood for your immune system respond it all comes from hydrogen and from the mitochondria and negative hydrogen establishes environments where viruses pathogens and disease cannot survive so that was your tldr overview now we're going to dive in and get heady so molecular hydrogen activates the nrf2 keep one pathway which helps maintain and replenish redox homeostasis in the body now this is the system that regulates your body's natural antioxidant responses it binds to the ARE or antioxidant response element inside the nucleus of cells and it triggers the transcription and production of your body's antioxidant badasses like glutathione, superoxide dismutase, and over 200 cytoprotective proteins and enzymes. So basically NRF2 keep one is, are like the, the body's main detoxification and oxidation pathways. They're the ninjas and the samurais that protect you on a microscopic level. Also, hydrogen downregulates the production of superoxide, nitrous oxide synthase, and other reactive oxygen species, and hydrogen can target hydroxyl radicals. So why is this important for the coronavirus? Because if you've got the Ronia, your body is making way more of these reactive oxygen species, ROS, and you need hydrogen to downregulate them. Now don't get me wrong, ROS can be a good thing in the right quantities. In fact, superoxide can actually kill pathogens, but it's all about balance. And one of the manifestations of the coronavirus is inhibited lung capacity, causing an extreme ROS overproduction. They're way out of balance and they can catalyze mental reactions like taking regular oxygen and converting it into terminator oxygens like hydroxyl radicals or a really bad one called perioxine nitrate, which is super oxidizing and damaging. So think of how rust can darken metal or how an apple can darken and brown after you slice it. This is oxidation in action. And the same thing happens in the blood with corona. Blood drawn from these patients is so dark, it's almost black. I've seen vials of this blood and it's hardly even recognizable because it's so dark from oxidative damage. And this is why, because it starts with the lungs and leads to cell necrosis and apoptosis, which causes then multi-system organ failure and can even lead to death. So. The most effective way to regulate these damaging oxidators is, of course, your body's natural antioxidant system. And how do you stimulate that? With hydrogen found so abundantly in water. And the inflammatory immune response caused by COVID can cause what's called cytokine storms and a huge upregulation in cytokines and interleukins. And the more cytokines you have, the more reactive oxygen species you have. And the more ROS you have, the more cytokines you have. So. It's just a vicious cycle, and hydrogen interrupts the cycle. In fact, even the popular COVID treatment hydroxychloroquine is partly made of hydroxy. Go figure. Now, even at a quantum level, hydrogen plays a key role in immune function, giving our cells the energy that they need to do their work. Now, we all remember from Ms. Brizzle that mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell and the batteries of the body, right? They ultimately facilitate energy production. 
So within each mitochondria, there are these sort of like wind turbines that spin really fast, generating energy, and the rotation speed of these spinning turbines determines how efficiently you create energy. Now, the faster the turbine rotates, the more energy you make and the healthier you'll be. The slower the turbine rotates, the less energy you make, and this leaves you more susceptible to illness. Now, the spinning also creates a magnetic field, and the faster it rotates, the stronger the magnetic field. And oxygen is paramagnetic, which means it's attracted to a magnetic field. Now, a healthy magnetic field created by optimal mitochondrial function will draw oxygen into the mitochondria, and by now we all know that the coronavirus depletes oxygen in your blood cells, right? It's called hypoxia. So we want to strengthen our mitochondrial function, allow as much available oxygen as possible to be able to actually permeate into the mitochondria. So if these spinning energy generators are like wind turbines, then hydrogen is the wind that powers them. As hydrogen is fed into the spinning spirals, they rotate faster and faster, producing more and more energy, creating higher magnetic fields. But the less hydrogen enters the turbine, the less it rotates, the less energy production you have, the higher your chance of illness, weakened magnetic field, etc. So hydrogen is absolutely crucial to the cellular energy your body needs to fight any infection. So how do we get more of this hydrogen into your body water? And more importantly, how can we make it available to those clinics and hospitals where it's needed the most? Well, there are a few different ways. Number one is hydroxy gas, which is already, again, being used in hospitals in China, Japan, South Korea, Thailand, and more specifically to treat coronavirus patients. It splits water into six parts. H, H2O, O2, H2O as steam water vapor, and EXW, or the plasma form of water, as negatively charged H2O. And then the patient inhales this hydroxy gas. In fact, it may actually be even more effective than ventilators, which can actually cause some minor damage to the lungs if they're used for too long. Now, there are currently four clinical trials going on to study the efficacy and safety of hydrogen-oxygen mixed gases, specifically for COVID-19, and hundreds of people are already getting this treatment. Um, Dr. Nanshan Zong, who discovered SARS coronavirus in 2003, presented about hydroxy gas to the European Respiratory Society just last month, and his research is really fascinating. Here's the important thing to know. Hydroxy gas machines are only about $2,000 versus ventilators, which are tens of thousands of dollars. So if you are in a position to donate one of these machines to a hospital, clinic, or nonprofit, please do so. It's one of the most effective ways to channel your medical philanthropy right now. You can find them at Osmio Water, AquaCure, Vital Reaction, and elsewhere. And I'll include some links in the accompanying article. I definitely recommend the Osmio Water ones. My friend Mark Kent runs the company, and they fast-tracked 2,000 new machines to be made ASAP for this pandemic. So if you can facilitate those machines getting into the hands of the doctors and the patients who need them, please let us know. Now, the second way of getting more healing hydrogen into your body is via molecular hydrogen in water. So for that, there are three easy methods that you can use at home. Now, I don't recommend going the route of one of those alkalizing ionizing filters. Yes, there can be a bit more hydrogen in that water depending on the TDS of the source water that it uses, but it's not a stable hydrogen. So it's gonna evaporate from the water really quickly because hydrogen is the lightest element in the universe that makes it really tricky to keep it to make it stay put. There are better methods out there. Now one is to dissolve molecular hydrogen tablets in your water and a great option comes from a company called Vital Reaction. Another is to put a stick of magnesium in your water. So basically you use a pure magnesium rod with a bit of vinegar or citrus and it creates so much hydrogen that it, your water actually starts to bubble. And you get some bioavailable magnesium supplementation this way too. So it's really a great strategy. The third way is to order hydrogen water that's already bottled and ready to drink. The best I've come across is Izumio. Their amount of hydrogen is extremely high and they package it extremely carefully to make sure that the hydrogen stays put. And again, you can find links to all of that in the accompanying post. And if you order through my links, oftentimes you'll receive a discount code and it really helps me out and allows me to continue making free content like this for you guys. So thank you so much for sticking with me through this heady deep dive into biohacking your health using the source of life. And if you want to start taking your hydration into your own hands, you can check out the free quick start quench your thirst guide on my website, which is a super simple, basic overview of a few key hydration hacks that I recommend. And if you want to really take a dive a little bit deeper and learn the difference between bottled water, tap water, reverse osmosis, alkaline, spring water, etc., etc., 
and how each of these affects your body and your mind very differently, then I have a brand new e-course for you. For 10 to 20 minutes a day for just seven days, you can empower your hydration for the rest of your life. So I hope you'll join us in the course and I hope you've gotten some value out of this. If you learned something new, please share. It means the world to me. And if you want to stay in the loop about water, please visit my site, subscribe to the newsletter, follow me on Instagram, or join our Bodies of Water Facebook group. So please have a blessed day. Stay home and stay hydrated.